So I'm excited, I'm gonna show you guys how to turn this zucchini into pasta. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to peel it. And if you don't have a spiralizer, you can actually just peel the whole thing. So you don't really need any crazy gadgets if you have a super small kitchen like I do. And, um, but I do highly recommend spending the, I think it's like, what? you know, 15 or 20 bucks on Amazon because it really does give you so many different textures. I think it comes with like three different blades. So it just kind of lets you play with something a little different. And today I'm gonna spiralize uh, zucchini because it's one of my favorites. It's really easy, it's fast. It's also what I had in the fridge. So there's that too. And you wanna make sure that you have a flat surface on each side because then that way when you are spiralizing, it's easy to grip into the teeth. Chomp, chomp, chomp right here and then right in here. And then I kind of like to hold it down and then it's that easy. Now you're probably wondering, you know, do you want to cook it? Sure, you could totally saute this. But the reason I'm doing raw is because when you're eating raw foods, it's, you're literally getting live nutrients into your body. And then you poop, taking this guy right out. And it just allows your body to have more fiber. So if you're able to push out any toxins that you don't need in your body. And then you just kind of gives you smoother slippies, gives you more energy too, which is amazing. We're gonna put this guy in the bowl, but look at this. I mean, how is this not amazing pasta? It's like literally 30 seconds, boom. So finished this little guy. The thing I love about, well, I like to call them zoodles, is that it's super easy. Check out this guy. Is that it takes minutes and it's so easy. And if you're trying to incorporate some of your favorite alternatives, is it's a great way to replace pasta for, for my pasta lovers out there. Now this here, you're probably like, what is this crazy? Kind of reminds me of like Jack and the Beanstalk, right? Pretty epic. This is actually a pea shoot green. Amazing, kind of reminds me of like spinach and a collard, but like very light, fragrant. Um, and this is an awesome alternative for like kale, spinach, um, any sort of green that you're wanting to use. But you could certainly throw in any one of those other green bad boys um, or anything else that you're thinking of. Just give it a little rough chop. Super easy. So it's funny when I'm cutting up raw vegetables, I always just kind of like to feel them. There's a certain texture that they have. Um, totally different than when you're touching cooked food, you know? Um, and it's like, look at this colors. This already is so appealing. You know, it's, we often forget that we really eat with our eyes. And when we see the color green, it actually creates a sense of peace and calmness in a lot of cultures. Even in Japan, part of the the cultural thing about pregnancy is that you're supposed to walk through the forest at least once a day to create more calm. So eating greens, can you imagine the benefits? So I've got some purple cabbage and I'm just gonna slice it up. But if you don't have purple cabbage, you can totally use Napa, white cabbage, um, any like broccoli, cauliflower, any other kind of cruciferous vegetable that calls to you. You just, you want to slice it up as thin as you want. You can use a mandolin if you like. And it just adds an awesome flavor and texture. And cabbage, if you notice in a lot of Eastern cultures, like in Asia, like China specifically, they use a lot of cabbage. And one of the cool things about cabbage is that it has a lot of anti-cancerous properties and detoxifying agents in them. So if you're looking for an easy way to just kind of add something easy to your diet, 
I just want to chop it up into smaller pieces. Make it a little easier for your mouth hole, right? It's like more time for chewing and a little space for talking. Let's get that in there. Look at those crazy colors. Just finish chopping this up. And as you can tell, like this is literally happening in minutes. If we were making pasta, we'd be boiling the water. We'd be cutting open the bag or the box, right? This. We're more than halfway there. Pretty awesome. And again with the colors. Pretty epic. So now we've got our baby bellas. We're just gonna we're gonna leave these in bigger chunks. Kind of gives it like a nice mouth feel. So we've got a lot of different textures going on here. Zucchini's a little softer. We've got the spinach that's gonna wilt the pea shoots that are kind of like a spinach. And then we've got the cabbage. And once we dress this, well then it's a whole nother flavor party of goodness. So to this, I'm actually gonna add a little bit of buckwheat sprouts. So these are have been used for probably you know, around centuries. Um, and it's a great source of protein, but it's awesome as an alternative for nuts. So if you have a nut allergy or you just wanna add extra protein to this, buckwheats, super awesome. So to add a little sweetness and, and add an iron, I'm actually going to add in some beautiful raisins. All right, here comes the great part. So this is a super easy salad. And uh, of course, adding to this amazing utopia of deliciousness and a nutrient dense bowl of epicness, we're going to throw in an extra boost. So you're probably wondering if you have never seen this before, this little dude is actually turmeric. Awesome color, super bright, and it's an anti-inflammatory. So if you have arthritis, you have any uh, skin issues, uh, or just any other sort of issues that bother your body, throw in a good knob of turmeric. I buy it frozen, uh, it's super easy, and it already comes pre-peeled. So make it easy for yourself. Buy the stuff that's already kind of like flash frozen, you know, so that way you're more apt to do it. So throw this guy in the, in the blender, boom. So instead of sweetener, I'm gonna add dates, medjool dates. Now these are amazing because if you see them, they are just delicious gems. It's almost like meaty, really. Like it's kind of crazy. Like these just freaking blow my mind. And then I've got some pre-soaked in hot water sun-dried tomatoes. Now these add that just kind of like extra amazing texture. You just like, when you eat it, you're like, ah, what is that? It's so good. So add that, and then I'm also gonna throw in the water because it's got the extra flavor in there. And to this, I'm gonna add some pink sea salt. Now all of this is raw, but you can use different ingredients. Make it your own. Cool. Throw in some cumin. that. Now if you don't have turmeric, you can always use ginger, lemongrass, anything else you want. And then I'm gonna add some apple cider vinegar, this behemoth right here. <laughs> Perfect. And then to make it extra creamy, I'm gonna throw in some tahini paste. You can probably put in about a quarter cup. So tahini paste, if you don't know what it is, is actually just ground up in pulverized sesame. Use it a lot in kind of like Middle Eastern food. Um, and it just makes, it makes for an amazing substitute if you want to make a super creamy sauce. So I've got some pre-chopped ginger and garlic, so I'm gonna throw in two scoops. Because garlic makes the world go around. 
deliciously. And then that's it. And then of course we'll give it a little taste along the way to see if we want to add more salt, anything else. But it's this easy, like literally just toss, cut, chop, peel, and throw it in. Look at this. The dressing's all done. Mmm. It tastes amazing. So first I'm just gonna give my salad a little mix. Kind of get all those flavor. What is in the back? You can hear the crunchy. You can hear the soft. Look at this beautiful colors. It's amazing. So we're gonna toss in our dressing. And it's so thick, like you could really use this as a dip. Like it does not want to come out. <laughs> but we're gonna get it with a little help from our friend, Mr. Tonks. Good old Mr. Tonks. All right, now you just give us a good mix. You wanna make sure it's all fully dressed. And the cool thing about this salad, and salad dressing specifically, is that the more you let it sit, the better it's gonna taste. It's like, uh, if any of you out there are really into cooking meat and marinating it, basically doing the exact same thing. And with the vinegar in the sauce, it's actually gonna help break down the starches and the cabbage, making it softer, really turning it into something just like, <sighs> super good. Look at this. I mean, this looks like, if you didn't know any better, some mayo drenched, you know, creamy, insane dressing. But it's not. It's just some simple, raw-gasmic, delicious pasta. This is like the real deal, guys. Come on. It's got all of the elements of uh, an amazing pasta and then some. And remember, it just literally took minutes. This is all raw. It's totally alive in every element, like from the colors that are bursting and flying out to the different textures from the buckwheat. And this is all full of protein. It's gonna make you feel amazing and delicious and alive. So give it a try. Swap out any of the ingredients that you feel inspired by and uh, make sure to share with us and let us know what you make. Excited for you guys to eat.